Growing a grain crop requires a lot of work. All year long, growers make decisions to ensure that their grain crop will be successful in meeting quality standards. This starts before the crop is even planted. Before seeding, some tillage may be done. Tillage is working the ground. Some growers do this to level the ground in order to plant the seeds. If the ground is too rough, the planter may not run properly over the soil, causing irregularity in how deep the seed is planted. This can severely affect how the seedlings emerge from the soil. Growers must also decide what nutrients to apply, as well as how and when to apply them. Nutrients are applied in the form of manure or fertilizer. It is important that the nutrients are available at the right time for the crop, so often applying them in early spring is ideal. Typically, fertilizers are applied at planting as well to give the crop the necessary nutrients located very close to the growing root zone. The grower makes fertilizer decisions by taking soil samples and having them analyzed for nutrient content. Type and amount of fertilizer is carefully chosen to compensate for any nutrient deficiencies in the soil without over-applying fertilizer. Also, depending on the herbicide program, a herbicide may be applied pre-planting. Corn, soybeans, spring wheat, oats and barley are all planted in the spring season. The ground must be fit, meaning that the soil temperature is warm and isn't too wet. Typically, the spring cereals are planted first. Spring cereals include spring wheat, oats and barley, followed by corn, and then soybeans. It is important not to plant too early in the season. Spring frosts could damage the early growing crops if they are planted too early. During spring planting, farmers have a lot of decisions to make on how they're going to plant a crop and when. Sometimes these plans can change very quickly. At this stage, weather can have a large impact on planting decisions. Wet weather can make the fields too saturated to plant, and if delayed for too long, the farmer may have to decide to change what crop was going into a particular field. Corn typically requires a longer period of time to grow than soybeans, so in a wet spring, a farmer may have to choose to plant a shorter growing crop like soybeans instead. As the plants emerge and throughout the growing season, fields are walked to look for any issues such as weed, insect, and disease pressure. A herbicide, insecticide, or fungicide may be applied through a sprayer in order to keep the crop healthy always taking into account the proper guidelines of usage. There are numerous decisions that are made during the growing season and many variables to take into account. Are the crops healthy? Is that disease going to be a serious threat? What is the anticipated yield and will the crop have enough nutrients to reach that yield potential? What herbicide should be applied to control the weeds effectively? Each season brings its own unique conditions and challenges, and farmers must use crop science, years of experience, and good judgment to ensure their crop grows into a full and healthy harvest. As the grain crops mature, Ontario grain farmers start looking towards harvest and the end of season decisions. The farmer must decide when the crop will be harvested, how it will be stored, and when and how the crop will be sold. Farmers will also take their experiences from the growing season and make decisions for their soil and crops for next year and beyond. Winter wheat is planted in the fall, typically in a field from which soybeans were just harvested. Wheat then overwinters in the field and continues growing in the spring. It is harvested in late summer, similarly to barley and oats. After a barley, wheat or oat crop, a farmer may decide to put in a cover crop the cover crop stays in the field until winter. Before a crop can be harvested, the farmer must ensure that it has matured and dried down. Soybean harvest typically begins around the end of September. For soybeans, it is natural for the plants to turn brown and for the leaves to fall off. If the soybean plant and seed are not dry enough, there can be issues during harvest and the grain will not store well. If the grain is just slightly higher in moisture than desired, the grain can sometimes be dried using a grain dryer. Years ago, harvest would be done by hand, first cutting the crop, then separating the grain from the plant. It was extremely difficult work. As the years progressed and mechanization arrived on farms, crops were either cut by hand or by horse or tractor and cutter. Then they were cut by a threshing machine. The thresher would separate the grain from the plant 
Now, we use a machine that combines all the steps. It cuts the crop, separates the grain, and can move the grain from the combine into a grain cart where it is taken to a truck and then to a grain elevator for storage. Corn is typically the last crop of the year to be harvested once the plant and grain have dried down. Sometimes harvest can run into the winter. If the weather does not cooperate, farmers might be combining when there is snow on the ground. Throughout the year, farmers watch the grain markets to sell their grain. Some might prearrange their grains to be sold to a grain elevator, ethanol plant, or flour mill, while others might decide to store their grain for a period of time. Other farmers will sell during harvest, depending on market prices, and some might use any combination of these marketing strategies. These decisions are critical, as they determine the price a farmer will get for their grain. This is how the farmer is paid for their entire year's work. There are so many decisions that a farmer makes throughout the year. Most years, a farmer will create a plan on what they will grow, how they will care for that crop, and where and when they will sell it. But plans often change, depending on factors like weather, market prices, and the health of their crop. Farmers are very adept and nimble, facing many challenges in order to grow and market a successful crop.